Hey everybody, I'm Brendan72mo. Each GTA Online DLC brings with it so-called hidden vehicles that we have to wait week after week for Rockstar to drip feed to us. The Cunning Stunt Special Vehicle Circuit DLC is no different with three cars that were included in the download that have not yet been unlocked. You're looking at them right now. They are, in purple, the Pegasi Infernus Classic, in blue, the Hijack Rustin, and in white, the Grady Turismo Classic. The Infernus and Turismo are both sports classics cars, while the Rustin is a sports car. I was able to spawn these cars what using single player only mods on PC. For now, I can only show you the customization options available for these cars and then give you a quick peek at what they look like fully customized and how they sound. I'm also going to take each one for a short test drive. The prices that you'll see for upgrades in Los Santos Customs in this video will be much higher once these cars are released in GTA Online. Once the mods that I need are updated for the most recent DLC, I'll give you a better tour of each car since I can't currently open the hood or the trunk with the mod that I use to spawn these cars. I'll also do some rough performance testing in a future video with each of these cars, including a quick drag race against the fastest cars of their class, plus I'll run a few laps around a racing circuit with traffic turned off. My early impressions for these cars are all positive. I absolutely love the looks of all three, especially the Turismo Classic. Of the two Sports Classics cars, the Turismo felt like it had quicker acceleration and better speed, while the Infernus felt like it had better traction in a corner. Both cars were very nice to drive, and they bring a lot of solid performance to their class. Whether or not they're quicker than the current Sports Classics King, the Sterling GT remains to be seen. The Rustin sports car is definitely quick, though it can get unsettled over bumps and other uneven surfaces. It did spin out once coming out of a corner, but overall it held the road really well. While I doubt that it's quick enough to dominate other sports cars, I have a feeling that it might be able to compete and pull off some wins in the right hands. I can't wait to see all three of these cars released to GTA Online because I know I'll be adding them all to my car collection. But for now, I'm going to hush and let you watch all of the customization options and listen to the sounds of each car. If there's something you'd like me to cover with these three cars once better mods get updated, just let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit that like button and get subscribed if you haven't already. I'm Brandon72Mo, and I'll see you in the next video. What brings you in today?
What miracle did you want me to perform? 